what I'd like to do is show the difference in the way tangent slitting and wrap slitting influences the quality of the edge of various materials. And I'm going to do a, a wrap and a tangent slit with a, a nice white coated paper. I'm also going to do the same with a paperboard, a light paperboard. And these are going to illustrate the differences between wrap and tangent slitting and why uh, wrap slitting has to be carefully thought of in the choice between which material I'm going to slit. For example, on tangent slitting, I have one set of knives here, and we're just going to do a straight through slit using a six inch upper slitter blade and a six inch bottom slitter. And that's what a tangent slit looks like. And it's, it's a nice slit, reasonably good. Blade could be sharper, but that's another issue. And then over here, I'm going to illustrate a wrap slit. Since the material has to wrap around the lower slitters, I'll hold it down here. And the slitter is going to rotate at the same speed as the web passing through the slitters. There's no overspeed here. When I get done with that, we now have a wrap slit on this paperboard. Now we'll, we'll examine the, the slit in a moment. I'm going to do the same thing with this uh, coated paper. the same thing with a wrap slit with this material. Again, I'm wrapping it around the, uh, the slitter assembly and the slitters are rotating at the same speed as the web. slit edges, I'll find that there's not a significant difference between the supported edge and the unsupported edge on the tangent. And there's not a significant difference between the supported edge and the unsupported edge in the wrap slit for this particular material. But let's look, let's look at the difference with this heavier paperboard. This is the tangent slit. And if you can see by reflection, both of the edges are flat and are relatively good looking. But if I look at the wrap slit, and if you can see by reflection, you'll notice that there is a bend along the edge of this cut. And that bend was caused by the material being forced over this edge of the adjacent slitter ring. This material was uncomfortable being slit in that narrow groove being forced down by that top slitter blade. So this is a, a, a way to illustrate the, the, the burden of using wrap slitting for heavy, rigid materials that just don't like being bent abruptly over the lower slitter edge. Those are some of the things you have to be aware of when you're deciding whether or not you want to wrap slit or tangent slit. There's more to it.
than that. But that's just one facet of the information you need to consider when deciding on what sort of a splitting system to use.